Hello and welcome back to another episode of uh, Diaries of Death. My name is Aiken and today we're continuing uh, the World of Warcraft Hardcore series. We're playing on the official World of Warcraft Hardcore servers. Uh, one death and the character is gone. Anyways, Frostmage is still going strong. Made it to level 40 in the last episode. And today we're going to go to a new dungeon, Razor Fang Down. So we have seen Razor Fang Crow already, which was the small sibling of uh, this dungeon here. And Razor Fang Downs is exactly that the bigger, meaner, or uh, fearful version of uh, the dungeon it's not that bad uh, but i'm trying to hype it up a little bit as we are going in with a good party today um, i just had uh, cleared scarless monastery with exactly this party here of course didn't receive anything unfortunately no white mane's head or shoulders or anything for us uh, but it's okay uh, we're, we will make do even without. It's fun to do a couple of instances from time to time uh, that changes up uh, the leveling grind a little bit. Also, I must say, so far I've been doing nothing but impressed by the quality of uh, players in the instances, specifically post, I would say, level 20. Um, yeah, it's relatively simple. Those who are not good are dying at, uh, in level, uh, between level 10 and 20, mainly. So, that. Uh, leaves the survivorship uh, bias of more or less competent players. So, so far we had zero problems with uh, the, uh, any of the instances. Not even a close call. And there we go. We're at the entrance. Got one quest uh, inside. Let's see how well this is going to go. I've learned to keep my frost shield up whenever I need it. That just makes the whole uh, dungeoneering much safer. I will also get, uh, I said at the beginning, I don't want to use a lot of add-ons, but I will get an add-on uh, for the amount of frost uh, shield. That will be helpful just to get a better uh, perspective so that uh, you as the viewer can see just how much uh, details we have left. I think that is a mistake to not offer it in the, base, uh, in the base UI. Our tank definitely is an aggressive puller. We've seen that in Scarlet Monastery. Let's hope uh, he knows what he's doing. Very good. We have a very caster-focused uh, uh, party, uh, which is, I would say, fine, but also means I'm not getting a lot of loot. However, I'm not terribly mad about that. Uh, in earlier times, uh, when I was uh, playing the original version, I would uh, organize parties and get a healer, but had a different armor set, uh, or a different armor property then um, I would have for instance a druid or a shaman and the DPS would be if I would be playing a mage the DPS would be hunter and a rogue something along those lines. 
so I have the cross drops effectively or automatically going to me. But that type of nuance in the official RF4 service currently is not possible. Oftentimes, in our level range, we have currently like eight, maybe nine players online. So, you take whatever you can. And to be fair, so far it was working out. Even if uh, you lose out on a drop, it is what it is. I don't think that I will be dying just because I'm missing out on a drop. I'd be rather dying by not playing smart. Good, Razor Fang uh, Downs is a little bit uh, tougher, the boss fights definitely are a little bit tougher than uh, the Razor Fang Cloud equivalent, but that's what uh, makes it a lot more fun. So let's see if we can get some good loot. There is definitely an, a Frost Mage item from one of uh, the bosses, and if we're lucky that might drop. I like our warlock as well. Uh, you will see uh, he always uses a course of time. Uh, atypical for a warlock, uh, but very, very effect uh, effective. He's prioritizing utility over DPS. Effectively, almost modifies the castes. These guys are definitely cheapable, I'm so I'm sure that it didn't work out. Yeah, and you can see Volrock uh, is a bit different uh, compared to Rashnak, our uh, warrior of choice the last time. Uh, he is going in, he's uh, spinning right round, right round. He's also dealing a lot of damage, so I can't complain. Intelligence and spirit, yeah, that's unfortunately not good enough. The downside of his pulling style is I'm never 100% sure when he needs uh, help. I'll drink through that. Uh, 
And I also noticed uh, he's simply relying on his damage to pull aggro. And whilst that is cool, in some cases you can see how individual moves are having a field day from time to time. So, yeah, I personally would prefer uh, Ration X, but like I said, sometimes you just gotta take whoever is uh, there. So, so far we're doing well, specifically if he's single pulling, uh, that is good enough. I should however slow these guys because the one thing that I noticed is this team here doesn't have a good slow and social mobs tend to just run away. First the AOE pull variant. Yeah. I consider my job to make sure that people are not running away. Let's hang downs also a little bit larger. Um, this here, by the way, is going to be the next uh, boss. Uh, once we hit uh, the bomb, they will appear. All right, never mind. We already started. save some mana another gong there we 
go. Let's focus fire. Or let's just AoE them. I'm at the mercy of the tank uh, when it comes to these guys, simply because uh, they're undead. So, not much I can do here. In terms of crowd control, that is. Alright, to the calf. Let's go. Team is doing very good DPS. You can see everybody is contributing nicely. Good job. Oh yeah, that one is really good. Unfortunately, I can see everybody needing for it. Four people needed it. Stamina is very well thought after in hardcore. So naturally, for well, stamina four. is an easy need for almost everyone here. First boss down. Couple more to go. it off but the tank basically doesn't want me to crowd control these things could have been so much easier but okay whatever
All right. That one has a really good ring as a reward. careful I'll stay with the back line specifically with our healer that way he does not get ambushed Right, this guy definitely walks fast. Yeah, the one thing that I don't like uh, is Frost Nover, uh, although it is efficient in keeping them at bay, it still means uh, that uh, the mob side egg or someone else in the tank. However, this year is a bit miscoordinated. <laughs> Not really crowd controlling. Very good. Just drinking, and I think uh, the next one should be the last uh, wave, and then we're done.
smokes there are still more coming. I did, do not remember that it took so long. Definitely is close uh, here. Very nice, fantastic ring. Right, let's have a look uh, we got I think this ring here hmm. although might as well exchange this one for a little bit more hit points we're good on mana uh, during the questing I don't uh, feel like we're really running out of mana solved uh, with the delivery quest now we're moving on was a clean kill and a nice belt one that we can definitely use Fabulous, good. So, that's I think three posts down. If I recall correctly, it's only one more, and we're done here. Very good tempo. I mean, say what you want about Woolrock, but uh, he is pulling fast. of elites under the elites sticking around
Okay. I'm not, I don't even have the time to explain all of the bosses. So the thing was so far I wanted to uh, discuss the skeleton with all of his ads, but yeah. All he said is mage takes uh, the ads and then uh, that was it. Our target is going to be right up there. Frost Ward plus our Ice Barrier kept us safe. I love Ice Mages. The self utility in terms of just not dying is very, very good. Okay, we're having a short AFK moment here apparently, and then uh, we're continuing. Good. I was wrong, by the way. Glutton still uh, came. This guy enrages. Which means we need proper DPS in order to get them down. But with this group in particular, this shouldn't be a huge issue. shoulders which is good So far, the only thing that we've gotten was the ring, but that ring was good, that's a solid upgrade. And the way that I'm seeing it is, even if you're just getting a small upgrade here and there, it's still worth it. Dungeons are definitely good for equipment upgrades. They always have the highest level of, uh, or the highest quality of gear compared to a level. For a dungeon like this, uh, improved blizzard would make sense. Now I'm considering putting that into the build as well. 
not because I'm the biggest AOE farmer, but uh, there will always be situations in a smaller group where you would want to have an AOE and giving that a huge uh, slow is a massive Yeah, that could be iffy if we're pulling everything together. Couple more groups and then we're through. Once we're up there, the final boss will be there. It's Casa this time, which is going to be intriguing. We haven't had any Casa final boss as well. We, we did it to a degree in Scarlet Monastery. We did have that. full this time. Very good. So that pack is the last one. And we have one more here. Maybe I was wrong, a bit overly optimistic. I remember the first time when we did these, uh, this dungeon in particular, uh, we didn't have a cleric with us and the pack sizes here start becoming an issue if you're underleveled. And 
and since uh, the only one here with undead, check out them. This is cleric. Kind of started to like clerics after um, priests. Sorry, priests after this one. In later dungeons, this is going to be the absolute norm uh, to have packs of uh, five, uh, five, six enemies. The difference is you don't have anyone who is over level and uh, can just tank them. Typically, just needing to crowd control them. Which is why I think it's a decent habit to get into to already crowd control early. But yeah, it's not needed. Our tank is level 45, so these mobs are green for him. Uh, in Scholomance or Stratholm, that won't be the case though. So uh, there you do have even leveled mobs and trust me, that makes a huge difference in World of Warcraft Classic. All of a sudden, even a very well leveled uh, or geared tank can take a lot of damage. One, two, and then we got Eminar, the Cold Bringer. Frostmage, Duel of the Frostmages. Fortunately, I think he's uh, the slightly stronger Frostmage. But I got backup, so. One, two, and we're there. Unfortunately, I used uh, my counter spell on his uh, normal shadow bolt. Bullrock is opening a, a chest. That's the last pack, six of them. And it's a good decision to check out one of them. Never mind, I just realized that I cannot find a spell with summoning. Alright, 
Arminar the Cold Bringer. Got a quest for this guy, and he's a good caster, so let's rather be careful here. Tank is being nice, everybody can drink up. I'll, first thing I'll do is put a frost uh, ward up. Perfect. Mail and plate. Good job, guys. Fantastic. That also brings us uh, to the end of today's episode. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, Razor Thing uh, Down. It was certainly a pleasure. And since my guys here are spoiled give them a portal to Ogrima, which is a spell that I've recently learned. Fantastic, have a good one. Take care. Bye.